before this starts, I would all like you to try to ignore the massive over-the-top watermark on the video. It is super unnecessary. I just got trolled because I did not think that the watermark was going to be this big. But, you know, it happens. There's not much I can do about it. All right. Let's get on with it. Kirby's ability to fly can be very useful in many situations, from trying to dodge an attack or trying to cross a very large hole. But what if we took that away from him and tried to beat the arena in Kirby's return to dreamland without even jumping? Well, first we have to define what a jump actually is. So a jump is just pressing the number 2 button on the Wii remote. Anything else is fair game using copy abilities to gain height is fine, using co-op is fine even though it's useless because co-op doesn't give you any height because that's the way it was designed but everything else is fair game so let's see how far we can make it and how many times we can do it how many copy abilities have what it takes to beat every boss without jumping the first problem we encounter is actually getting a copy ability because Kirby is short he can't actually reach the capsules holding the copy abilities he has to get them another way and it is possible i'll show footage later but i'm gonna go over the seven copy abilities that can complete this challenge so to actually get them you see he's not tall enough we can use a mechanic that when kirby falls a great enough distance he bonks his face on the floor and he bounces up a little so by using that we can actually nab fire and using fire, we can boost into the wall with the dash attack and get whip. And from there, we can get a lot of other power-ups, uh, like tornado and fighter. But you know, I'm gonna right now I'm gonna list them in order from easiest to hardest. And the first one was tornado. You know, had a good attack. It was a little complicated to get. You know, from uh, the I guess the little halftime break in between each one, and then fighter. You know, it's got a great move set, and then whip. You know, I like whip, and uh, sword. You know, sword was pretty nice, and then water. You know, all these. You know, they had good invincibility frames, which means that you could, you know, boost through an attack, and then you get to spear, which doesn't have a lot of invincibility frames, and then we get to the most questionable and worst one of all, which is high jump, and after playing through all of these i can see now why nobody uses this it's the worst it's really bad it does no damage but at least you got very very good invincibility frames from it before i go any further i just want to say that i will be uploading each of these seven runs to youtube and if you want to watch them you can go ahead and watch them i'll have the link in the description below but that slide in wispy woods before you even get to the boss fight just want to clarify that is not a jump even though i did use the two button it did not give me any vertical height it does not count as a jump and with that out of the way let's get on to the actual content of this video here's footage of me getting tornado without jumping and i guess the only bad thing about tornado is that the attack that you use to get you know height is is kind of random and hard to control so if you mess up you know feel free to improvise if you're doing this on your own because it's it's a really good challenge and i recommend it you might have to try multiple times to get up there but eventually you'll you'll get up there it's just it's, it's just really hard to work with in an open space like this but eventually you'll get to the top and then just grab the start and start i guess the arena I was actually really surprised on how much damage Tornado did. Not just, you know, the crazy move around the entire arena uh, Tornado, but like the supercharged one when you shake and turns to this giant thing and it does a lot of damage. And I was really surprised at how quickly I could knock out some of these bosses. And as you can see here, you know, Landia in almost like very bad speedrunner time. But it's not with Hammer, which is, you know, the speedrunner copy ability of choice you know it was really good you could get a lot of 
damage in, especially when they're flying. You know, you're limited to attacks in the sky, but with Tornado, you can use it really anywhere. And you can see how quickly I'm defeating one of the hardest bosses in the game. That's not the last three bosses. You know, it's, it's like the last boss, and it fell in 52 seconds. That's, that's pretty good. Of course, this was the hardest part because it's a cramped space and you're surrounded by valuable items and other, you know, copy abilities. So later, I began to hug the walls and it was a lot better than going straight through everything and running the risk of losing a lot of metamatoes or losing Tornado. Getting Fighter was pretty similar to getting Tornado. But instead of using water to get tornado, you use water to get fighter because it's just next to it. So, you know, it's very similar to get, if you can get tornado, you can get fighter. But fighter is a lot easier to control, to go up or down or any direction you want the tornado. Because you don't have to always keep moving like you do with the tornado. But besides that, you know, the, the moves that fighter has are pretty good. You know, it's, it's, one of the, it's one of my favorite power-ups. And, you know... It's 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 good. It it does good damage. Of course, getting to the door to enter the next boss fight was a lot easier than than with Tornado because all you have to do is is just hit up and one and then boom, you're up. You don't have to deal with with the nasty tornado always moving shenanigans. Whip was definitely the most simple to get because you could just drop off the ladder and get Whip without needing anything else. But, you know, you could use Fire to get it, but you don't need it. But either way, Whip is still pretty good because not only does it have its own attacks, it also can use other stars and enemies that the bosses spit out at you. And you can grab them with the Whip and you can smack the bosses with them. And I didn't realize this until halfway through this, but I realized that you can grab the stars and enemies that you threw while they're still in the air and they're like smoking. You could grab them and throw them again. I don't know if I'm if I'm stupid or something, or if nobody knew this, but you know, that was a pretty cool discovery for me. You could get up to the platform to enter the door using that whip tornado thing, although I kept messing it up for some reason. I don't know if it was me or the controller, but I kept messing that up, but it shouldn't be a problem for you guys. Sword wasn't very difficult to get either, partly because it was like one of the first power-ups in the, in the first row, and you could get it. And you didn't have to climb up a bunch of stories through other copyability containers, and you could just you know, get it and go and move on and fight all the bosses. But besides that, you know, Sword got some good moves. It has a lot of in invincibility frames. It has its dash attack. Uh, that one where you hold the one button and then you do this crazy sword tornado. And then the the main one that I use for this challenge is the up and one. Because that gives you vertical height. And I discovered if you press one and down, that, that gives you more invincibility frames and shoots you down to the ground. And it's it's very useful. You know, it's more useful than you'd think it, it was during this entire arena. Reaching the door wasn't difficult either. It's you press one and up and you reach the door. No no sweat. No nothing difficult. That's it. If you've picked up the pattern from the rest of this video, you can tell that water wasn't very hard to get either. None of these were really hard to get, because you know. The further down you go, it doesn't really get that much harder. You just have to make your way back up. It just takes longer, but water was a little bit finicky getting up because you had to press down on one in midair because if you did that on just standing, you would create like a splash of water and that doesn't give you any vertical height. So to get up, you have to be in the air and then press down on one and then you'll, you'll spit an infinite amount of water out of your mouth. Uh, it's a, bit, a little bit unsettling, but you know, it works. Of course, now that you need to be in midair to get height, getting to the door was a little bit more complicated. But I figured out that if you tsunami your way to the 
metamato box you can fall off the tiny ledge and you'll be in midair and then you can use the water throw up move and you'll reach the door easy peasy and you can also reach the metamatos if you need to heal up spear was also pretty easy to get but this is where i am divided because on one hand spear has a really good vertical movement move if you hold one you can fly with the spear but on the other hand it doesn't have any invincibility frames that you can use without having to charge a move like if you throw if you do the spear throw and you hold enough to do three you get a little bit of invincibility frames but you can't really use those so i got hit a lot but if you just mash the one button you have a pretty good move does decent damage and you know i for this run it was deal all the damage as fast as possible or they'll deal all the damage they need to deal to you to die so yeah if you like spear you know go ahead and use it but personally not for me getting to the door with spear was pretty easy because as I already said, it has that, you know, spear helicopter move, and it's pretty good, you know, for vertical height, you know, if you're gonna try to deal damage with it, it's, it's okay, but, you know, either way, it's good for getting to the door and getting all the metamatoes you would ever need, and yeah, that that's spear. I might have been divided on spear, but I'm definitely not divided on high jump. It sucks. Yeah, and I said it deals no damage in in the, the beginning of the video. Well, it deals damage, but j just don't don't do it with this. It's so bad. You're not going to get hit a lot because while you're doing your quote unquote jump, which doesn't count as jump for this video, uh you you can't be hit, but you deal no damage it's 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 really bad i just i just spammed one there was no strategy it was spam one and hope i don't fall asleep while i'm doing this it's so bad if you're gonna do this challenge do yourself a favor and don't do it with high jump it's so bad and that should be all seven copy abilities that can complete the arena completely jumpless if i missed one Leave, the, leave a comment down below, uh, subscribe and like the video if you liked it, and you know, share it with your friends, your family if they like this stuff, and I guess anyone who would like this stuff. And if you want to see speedruns, you know, I'll be speedrunning Kirby's Return to Dreamland Arena on Twitch on Saturday, September 12th from 1 to 3 p.m. So you know, hop on in, check it out, and... Yeah, that, that's all I got. Alright, goodbye.